Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm doing a fun video where I am doing a quick comparison on two water reactive powders from Creative Expressions and the powders that I'm going to be doing are called Pixie Sparkle which is a new product for Creative Expressions and the Pixie Powder which is a product that has been out a while and in fact I think some of them are being discontinued unfortunately. Um, so I thought I would do just a quick video when I saw the Pixie Sparkles, I wasn't too sure what the difference was. And so I watched some videos and I thought I would go ahead and, um, so I went ahead and purchased some of them. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick video just showing the difference between the two in case you were wondering as well. So I ended up making two cards out of my um, kind of samples that I'm doing to show the differences. And so this first card, I have just taken a piece of Canson XL watercolor paper, a stencil, and some paper texture paste by Finabar. The Pixie Sparkle has eight colors in its line right now, and the Pixie Powders have 26. Um, unfortunately, though, I think they're discontinuing some of the Pixie Powders. I've been having a hard time finding them. And um, luckily I have a lot and so hopefully it will last me for years and years. But here are the two containers side by side. The main difference between the two is that the Pixie Sparkle has a lot more mica in the powder. So these are basically, if you're not familiar, they are dry powders. Um, so dye powders uh, mixed with mica. And there are lots of different variations of these powders on the market. Some don't have any shimmer at all, like some of the brushos are just a solid color. Then you have powders that sprout out into like several different colors, which is super cool. And I buy these because these are some of my absolute favorite products that I have in my craft room. So when I saw this Pixie Sparkle, I of course was kind of curious what the difference was, um, but ultimately decided to go ahead and get them. Um, so the panel on the right is going to be the Pixie Powder. As you can see, when I put the powder down on the paper, you could totally see the color on the Pixie Sparkle. You couldn't see the color so much, and I think that's because of the amount of mica in it. There is just a lot of mica, and I hope that you'll be able to see it on the screen um, so you can see the difference between the two, but I picked two um, teal colors and so basically all you're doing you can either put the powder into wet or you can put the powder into Dry and so what I did is I spent I sprinkled the powder on dry panels and then activated Activated that with water by spritzing it. You can also wet the paper first and then add the um powder directly to that. Um, so here I'm adding another one of the colors from the Pixie Sparkle, a darker blue. And then again, I'm taking my water bottle and moving that color around. And so another one of my favorite things in card making is creating backgrounds. I think backgrounds are super easy to create. Um, and I struggle with the other parts of the card. So I love creating backgrounds, um, yet the other parts of assembling and adding a focal point and all of that i sometimes i struggle with that and so i think the backgrounds are just really easy with these powders and they make for great mixed media cards and so i'm just working with the panels this one is the pixie powder and uh, moving that color around um, adding water or adding color where i feel like it needed and then I'm using my baby aspirator just to make some different um, designs in the watercolor. And uh, then I'll go ahead and I'll take my heat tool and move that liquid around a little bit more as well. And here are the dried panels. So this is the Pixie Sparkle. Um, and when I move it in the light, you can see all of that mica. It's just super shiny and um, beautiful. And then this is the Pixie Powder, which it does still have shine. It's just a little more subtle. It's almost like a metallic. And you don't see as much of that mica, that like silver um, look as you do um, from looking at the Pixie Sparkle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show really quickly this part of um, the card that I put together. Um, I absolutely love this. I saw this on the Creative Expressions YouTube channel. Um, and I did it a little bit differently, but I love the effect that this gives. So it, I took a piece of acetate 
and a stencil. And I am using translucent, um, this is, happens to be heavy gloss gel by Liqui Liquitex. And translucent basically means allowing some light to pass through. So while it looks like it's solid right now, it will dry fairly clear. Um, so you'll be able to see through it. And the colors that I have in these new Pixie Sparklers are Zesty Lime, Beyond Blue, Fuchsia Rose, Pale Blush, Teal Marine, Coral Crush, and Purple uh, Fair, it looks like. There's another purple that I didn't get just because I already had that one purple. And for comparison, here are the Pixie Powders. The Pixie Powders, um, you just don't see as much of the mica are, though. It still has a very pretty shine. Uh, the sparkles have a lot more of that mica in it. So um, that's kind of the difference between the two of them. So I wanted to show the cards that I made. I used acetate on both of them. And so for this first card, I went ahead and I did some stamping on my panel. And then I took the piece of acetate and I stamped up this image in, using some black stays on. And I didn't want to add any glue, which is why I added the washi. And then I also added some staples. And then for this second card, this is with that heart stencil that I used where it has little bubbles. And I don't know that you can see it so much now, but if you wait until the picture's at the end, you'll really be able to see the effect that that... Um, that gel has on the acetate. I just think it's awesome. And again, I use staples to adhere this because I didn't want to add any glue, um, though I did add a piece of adhesive to the back of the typewriter. But I did the same thing, basically. I added some stamping and um, just really a focal point on this one with the typewriter and some staples, and that is it. Um, so here are the two final cards. And then here's going to be some close-ups of this card where you can kind of see that um, it looks like bubbles. I think it would be super cool for a ocean background or something like that. Um, but that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I hope to see you next time.